Hello student. Welcome to another lecture of industrial wastewater treatment and today we are going to discuss about 4 hours of waste minimization under this unit number 2 waste minimization and treatment options. Today we will discuss about what is waste minimization, 4 hour concept of waste minimization and then we will discuss on 4 hours of this waste minimization which are reduce, reuse, recycle and recover. Now, what is waste? So, normally we define waste as any item or product when its intended use is fulfilled, then it is not useful for the intended purpose and we term it as waste. But that does not mean that the waste has no any application or no use. It may not become waste in true sense. And when we talk about waste minimization, it is defined as all the measures which are taken to reduce the quantity of waste, which requires waste management, then we call it waste minimization. So, the overall quantity of waste which requires management, if that is reduced, then it is termed as waste minimization. Now, next question may arise, what waste minimization? So, if you have studied waste management, you will be knowing that waste management is very expensive affair. It includes collection of waste, transportation of waste, segregation and pretreatment of waste and then final disposal and this is all these steps lot of expenditure incurs. So, when the quantity of waste requiring waste management is reduced, there is direct reduction in cost of waste requiring treatment and disposal. So, what are the outcome or benefits of waste minimization? Number one, it results in utilization of material to best possible extent. As I said, the waste is the material which is unfit to serve the intended purpose, but there is potential to use it for another purpose. So, that is how we can use the material to best possible extent, direct economic benefits because it re reduces the waste management cost. The third benefit is improved material efficiency, productivity and profit profitability. For industry, this is very, very important. And another benefit is clean or green image like ISO 9000 that is for manufacturing and ISO 14000 that is the standards for environment and by achieving this, the industry can show its commitment for environment protection. Okay. So, 
ultimate goal of any waste minimization program should be zero pollution or in terms of wastewater zero discharge. That means nothing is discharged out of premises of industry, everything is either treated and recycled and reused. And to achieve this goal, industry need to use low waste or no waste or cleaner, greener technology along with implementation of four R's of waste minimization. So, let us look at this four R's of waste minimization. They are reduce, reuse, recycle and recover. And this order is not interchangeable. You have to practice in the same order. Now, let us look at this steps in detail. So, number one step is reduce and these reduce mean reduction at source. How to achieve this? So, for reduction at source, you need to use processes or practices which will either eliminate the waste generation that means no waste is generated or it may result in reduction in toxicity of pollutant and hence toxicity of waste. So, this is the true meaning of reduction at source either quantity or toxicity of waste is reduced. Now, you can pause the video and think on techniques or measures which will result in less waste generation at source or reduction in toxicity. So, reduction at source can be achieved by measures like material substitution or modification, process substitution or elimination, good housekeeping, better management practices and life cycle analysis. So, what is material substitution? Here, you target the toxic material which is difficult to treat or it is harmful to environment upon release and you try to replace with less toxic or no toxic material. For example, earlier we were using solvent based paint. Now, we are having water based paint. There is no emission of any uh, organic uh, compounds from this paint. We have already replaced chlorofluorocarbon which were responsible for ozone layer depletion to uh, solvents which are not hazardous. They do not cause any uh, reduction in ozone layer or concentration of ozone. So, here we target the material or constituent which is either expensive or harmful or has health risk, uh, risk and try to replace it. Another method is by modifying input material, for example, use of higher grade or high purity raw material. So, cleaning produces less waste. Use of higher grade 
crude in refinery than petrol without lead or diesel with less sulfur. So, this will result in reduction in quantity of either emission or uh, discharge of polluting matter. Next is process substitution. So, already we have discussed earlier use of cleaner, greener, uh, greener technology and processes. You can also do this by changing in operating parameters and by optimizing these parameters you can achieve higher efficiency that means less waste. Okay. The next way of achieving reduction at source is good housekeeping, especially regular maintenance of various equipment in industry. So, regular maintenance results in reduction in occurrence of leak and drips and also ex extend lifetime to equipment. That means, you can use the equipment for longer time, hence less waste. Another method for reduction at source is better management practice like inventory control, training and awareness programs for all people who work with machine or use material and uh, generate waste. So, this is also very effective method for reduction at source. And the last in the list is life cycle analysis which is also known as cradle to grave analysis. As the name suggests, it is system in which particular material from its inception which is termed as birth to its ultimate disposal which is also termed as demise we track. An example of this life cycle analysis tools are water footprint and carbon footprint analysis. So, the such kind of tools, the detail analysis from cradle or birth to grave or uh, end of the material is done and this offers opportunity to minimize the waste during different stages of the material use. So, I hope you have understood the concept of waste minimization and first R that is reduction at source. In the next lecture, we will discuss on remaining three R's of waste minimization. Thanks.